other plasma cell neoplasm we have very important one Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia and the other plasma cell neoplasm solitary osseous plasma cytoma extra osseous plasma cytoma heavy chain disease monoclonal gammopathies of undetermined significance The most important one of them is Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia. Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia occurring in male over 50 years, more in male than female, characterized by the presence of lymphoplasma cytoid lymphoma, lymphoplasma cytoid lymphoma, IgM peering lymphocytes, monoclonal. MPAD, IgM paraprotein, clinically, hyperviscosity syndrome with visual disturbance, engorged vein, hemorrhage, blurred vision, neurological symptoms, cardiorespiratory symptoms up to heart failure. We have other causes of the hyperviscosity syndrome. We discussed polythysemia and the chronic myeloid leukemia and the other leukemia characterized by hyperleukocytosis. All of these are other causes of hyperviscosity syndrome. So differential diagnosis of the hyperviscosity syndrome include first Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia and then polythysemia and then hyperleukocytosis. Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia characterized by hyperviscosity and visual disturbance. Monoclonal gammopathies of undetermined significance. It is a penile monoclonal. Penile. You can see the difference between the M band here in the prime monoclonal gammopathies and the M band in the malignant monoclonal gammopathies. And we can illustrate in this table the difference between penign and the malignant. Penign is called penign monoclonal gammopathies, or malignant, which occur in the multiple myeloma and Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia or lymphoblasmocytic disease. Person rare 1% of the person older than 50, 3% of the person over 70. This is in penine, while in malignant majority of the cases over 40 years, peak of incidence over 70 years. Benz Jones proteinia proteinuria present in the malignant absent in penine, uh, serum paraprotein more than 30 gram per deciliter and rising in the malignant while it is usually less than 30 gram per liter and stationary in the penine. Serum free light chain abnormal either kappa or lambda but in the penine both kappa and lambda 2 to 1 normal percentage. Immunoparesis present in the malignancy due to monoclonal gammopathies uh, while in the penine form there is no immunoparesis. Bone uh, lesion present in the malignant absent in the penine plasma cell in the pomaro more than 30 more than 10 percent in most of the cases less than 10 percent in the benign monoclonal gammabus so we have to differentiate between benign and malignant solitary in single osseous plasma cytoma no other light lesion in other places Marrow away from the lesion, 
shall not have plasma cytosis no plasma cell in the peripheral blood the site varies may be vertebra rib skull or pelvis or femur or clavicle or scapula it is bone solitary bone treatment is radiotherapy radiotherapy paraprotein supposed to should disappear after treatment this is a benign form but 50% 55% of the cases may convert to multiple myeloma 35% may be cured 10% of the cases local recurrence or another solitary osseous plasma cytoma This is the pictures for solitary osseous plasma cytoma. You can see here in the skull bones and X-ray radiological appearance of this solitary plasma cytoma. Extra osseous plasma cytoma outside the bone. 5% of plasma cytoma neoplasm, no light lesion or marrow plasma cytoma. So no bone, no marrow, no plasma cell in the blood. 55 years median age, male, female, two to one, most frequent sites are oropharynx, nasopharynx, sinus, and larynx. So it is upper respiratory tract, most frequent site, upper respiratory tract. Treatment of the cases by radiotherapy, as we mentioned. 15% of the cases may convert to multimyeloma, 25% recurrence, 20% may have paraproteinemia. Heavy chain disease. We know the heavy chain, gamma, alpha, mu. Gamma heavy chain lymphoblasmocytic lymphoma alpha heavy chain is the most common characterized by extra nodal mucosal associated lymphoid tissue lymphoma malt lymphoma malt lymphoma largely in the mediterranean area africa where intestinal parasites are frequent the condition starts by malabsorption syndrome due to parasitic infestation. Condition started by malabsorption syndrome and transfer to extranodal malt lymphoma or mucosal associated lymphoma characterized by association with alpha heavy chain. Very important. Mu, resemble CLL. Heavy chain disease characterized by POMS syndrome. What is POMS syndrome? It's the abbreviation of polyneuropathy. O for organomegaly. E for end endocrinopathy. M for M protein, S for skin changes. We have five criteria of POMS syndrome. Two major B and M polyneuropathy and I and M protein immunoglobulin or M protein, one minor is organomegaly, endocrinopathy or skin are sufficient for diagnosis, are sufficient for diagnosis, two plus one from the five.